Hi, Hayden here for Rothwell Audio Products, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Heartbreaker Overdrive. The Heartbreaker is actually one of our most versatile overdrive pedals. Taking a closer look we can see the controls are still relatively simple here. Up on the top panel we have Gain, Bass, Treble and Volume. We also have a High Gain, Low Gain switch. Before we plug in, it's worth mentioning that the EQ on this pedal is actually quite interactive. This means if you change the bass, it does have an effect on the treble and vice versa. Not only this, but if you turn down the bass and treble, you're actually increasing the mid content of your tone. Conversely, if you turn the bass and treble controls up, it cuts the mids. Let's start off by listing some of the low gain tones we can get out of the Heartbreaker. For everybody that's interested in the gear aspect, we're going to be using this deluxe Stratocaster, which is loaded with the SCN noiseless pickups, going straight into the Heartbreaker, then into a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. To get the sound to tape, we close mic with an SM57, and we don't do any EQ in post. Okay, let's listen to our dry signal. <laughs> For this tone, what we're going to do is just fatten up our sound a little bit. So on the front of the heartbreaker, we have the gain around 12 o'clock. We have the button set to low gain. We've taken the bass and treble both down to around 10 o'clock. And we have the volume up at around 3 o'clock. Now remember, when you turn the bass and treble down, this actually gives you a bit of a mid hump. And many of us will know what a mild overdrive with a mid hump can do for your tone. Next up, let's see if we can boost the gain and get it just a touch more aggressive. We're going to turn the gain all the way to maximum, keep the gain switch set to low gain, we're going to leave the EQ where it was and take the volume down to about 1 o'clock to allow for the fact we have more signal because we've cranked the gain. Setting the pedal up this way should give us a nice biting aggressive kind of rhythm tone using the bridge pickup and then a really warm mid boosted sound for leads using the neck pickup. Now staying with the low gain option, we're going to leave the gain where it was and the gain switch where it was, but we're going to take our bass and treble controls and turn them both to around 2 o'clock. This will give us a mid cut. We're going to take the volume down a little again, having it just past noon, because as you boost the bass and treble frequencies, you do increase the overall output. And this is using the bridge pickup. <laughs> Now let's take a listen to what happens, still using single coils, if we change the gain switch to the high gain setting. We're going to set the gain to around 3 o'clock. We're going to have the bass and treble both around 10 o'clock, the volume around 1 o'clock. And this is using the bridge pickup on the Strat. <laughs> Let's go to a mid-cut tone. 
for this, we're going to leave the gain and gain switch where they were. We're going to increase the bass and treble to around 230, and we're going to drop the volume just a touch to allow for the fact we've boosted the bass and treble. And now I'll play the same riff as before, but with this mid-cut, more aggressive tone. <laughs> Let's switch over to a guitar with some humbuckers in it and investigate the rock and hard rock tones we can get out of the Heartbreaker. Let's set the Heartbreaker up for a real classic hard rock tone. We'll have the gain around 1 o'clock, the gain switch of course set to high gain. We'll turn the bass down to around 8 o'clock and set the treble around 11 o'clock. And the volume control will be around the 1 o'clock point. For this part of the video, we're going to be using an Ibanez RG1550, which just has the stock pickups in there. And we're going to be using the bridge pickup to capture that classic hard rock tone. <laughs> dial in a slightly more modern hard rock tone here perhaps moving up a decade or so we're going to have the gain up around the three o'clock point gain switch still set to high gain bass around 10 o'clock treble just off the noon point there and the volume still around one o'clock <laughs> Okay, let's push even further into aggressive territory here. We're going to max out the gain, have the bass around one, between one and two o'clock, treble around four o'clock, and the volume just past noon. This gives us a cut mid sound with a little more aggression on the high end. <laughs> For the final tone on this video, let's see if we can get a really dirty fuzz tone out of the Heartbreaker. Now it's worth pointing out that this pedal does not share any components or designs or anything like that with the noisemakers of days gone by, however you can really make a good fist of it. Let's have the gain absolutely maxed, we're going to have the gain switch in the high gain setting, we're going to take the bass all the way down to about 8 o'clock, max the treble, have the volume around 1 o'clock. For this one, I'm going to be using the neck pickup. <laughs> Although we have featured quite a few sounds in this video, we haven't even come close to covering what the Heartbreaker is actually capable of. Between the amount of gain on offer, the gain switch offering two different voicings and that interactive EQ, it's almost limitless what you can get. From something that just fattens up your vintage amplifier through to a hyper aggressive fuzzy kind of tone, it's all there for you to discover. Still, I hope you got a good taste of what the Heartbreak is about and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to us or friend us and don't forget to visit our website which is www.rothwellaudioproducts.co.uk See you next time.